It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer called Manolo. It's a New England IPA coming in at 5% ABV. Look at that lovely haze on the bottle. You can see the haze of the beer there. And it's by, excuse my pronunciation, Poland, Dusz Braki. I think that translates into two brothers. I think I got that one right. My Polish is improving. Uh, a 500 ml bottle. Uh, it looks really good. I gotta be honest, it looks really good. I like the branding. I like the liquid in the bottle. It looks very good. There's the bottle cap. Thank you for the, for the beers. Thank you to the brewery who sent me the beers. Uh, I think I had about four bottles of each beer. Thank you very much for that. Um, let's get on with the review. <coughs> nice bit of smoke. On the bottle opening, beer in the glass then. I'm using a traditional British pint glass for this one. I don't think I've ever poured a New England IPA into a traditional pint glass before, but there's, there's a first time for everything, right? Look how hazy that beer is. That looks absolutely terrific. We've got a two finger white head hazy light amber color beer good levels of carbonation hazy as you like let's get the aroma first of all though before i get the aroma i want to rock that beer around let me show you as i rock it back and forth you can see them lovely small bubbles the smaller the bubble the better the beer an old brewer once told me let's dive in cheers everybody I didn't get the aroma. I got a sniff of it as I was tasting it and I was like, aroma, I didn't get the aroma. My apologies. I'm smiling because, yeah. But we'll get back to that bit in a moment. Aroma. <laughs> uh, pineapple, grapefruit, mango, citrus, passion fruit. Some lemon, pale stone fruit. It smells absolutely tremendous. Let's start again. Cheers. Let's dive in. Stone the crows. Stone the Crows, what a terrific beer this is. It is so juicy, so drinkable. The, the passion fruit, the mango, the grapefruit, the pineapple, the lemon, the, the little bit of fleshy blood orange, all just wax you in the face. It really does. Oh, that is absolutely terrific. What a beer. The drinkability is superb. There's a little bit of sweetness to begin with. Then it goes over into a juicy, juice bomb, fruit packed, punch bowl middle with a little bit of bitterness on the back end. And that's all because the brewer's done a lot of kind of Dry hopping with the beer. Lots of dry hopping. Not many hops have gone into the boil. When you put a lot of hops in the boil, you, you generally get a lot of kind of bitterness coming through. That's a different style of beer. That's a that's kind of a West Coast style beer. Um, this is more New England IPA. As I mentioned, it is New England IPA. Uh, it's just generally far more juicy. They've done a really good job. I've not had many New England IPAs from Poland. Um, I missed the Wrocław Beer Festival 2018. I missed it this year. Um, I can't remember what happened. I think I just had something kind of overlapped it and I couldn't make it. But I'm definitely looking to go in 2019. And I'll be definitely, if, they, if I can find this beer, I'll be definitely looking, looking for this beer to try. Um, super juicy, super drinkable. Not sure if I can read anything on the back of this label. It's all in Polish. Yeah, it's all in Polish. But 
I don't need to read the label. The beer speaks for itself. It really does speak for itself. Lovely, juicy, hazy bomb of a beer. Looks cracking, smells cracking, tastes absolutely superb. For a New England IPA, I'm going to give that a smacking, full-on Stone the Crows 10 out of 10. So 10 out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers!